All right, guys, so it is finally here. The MLB The Show 18 roster update. The first one of the year is finally upon us, and we can finally see who has gone diamond, who's gone gold, who's went down a tier. We can finally see all the upgrades so we can get the season going. So my predictions, I had Verlander diamond, Osuna diamond, uh, Cueto gold, uh, Baez gold, Edwin Diaz gold, Jose Martinez silver, Jed Lowry silver, and I forget who my last one is. I had somebody else that went up to a silver. I can't remember off the top of my head. So hopefully my predictions come true. I can already see on the screen that two of my predictions have come true. If you guys are looking a little bit above the roster update thing right there. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it and see what all these updates went with. All right. So the way I like to do it is I like to go by position. So let's start off with starting pitching. You got Clayton Kershaw. He he went down to so he went down to a 90 his stamina his per nines went down his walks and home, home runs per nine went down as well Justin Verlander went from an 84 to an 86 I knew this guy would go diamond there's no way he wasn't gonna go diamond with the season that he was putting together as well as the last season or the last half of the season in 2017 his K's per nine and his walks per nine actually went up uh, so the walks per nine aren't really gonna do anything for online play but the K's per nine are gonna be nice that are up so Chris Archer went down down to an 82 so he had a little bit of a decrease on a lot of his stats James Paxton went down to an 82 as well but his uh, walks his walks per nine and his home runs per nine went down not gonna affect online play uh, Aaron Nola went up one his control went up and his velocity and break went up by a lot plus 29 to his break holy smokes Garrett Cole went up to a gold plus two to his stamina plus three and plus nine to his per nines so pretty good upgrade for Garrett Cole right there another gold added to the Houston Astros as if they needed their expensive collection to get any more expensive Rick Porcello went up to a gold wow pretty good plus five to per nines Tanaka went down to an 82 Cueto he went up to a gold he's one guy that I predicted his hit per nine went up and his walks per nine went up so good job to Cueto you've Darvish went down to an 80 Robbie Ray went down to a silver uh, Quintana went down to a silver Patrick Corbin that was the other guy I had Patrick Corbin I pre did predict him to go to a silver he went all the way up to a 78 he's putting together a hell of a year so good job for Patrick Corbin Charlie Morton this was one guy I was on the fence about I just didn't think he was gonna make the four overall jump so he did go up to a 78 though Dylan Bundy went up to a 78 Jose Barrios went up to a 78. I have about like 12 of his card, I believe, so I'm investing in him. Trevor Bauer went up. Otani went up to a 78, literally right where I predicted him to go. I knew he was not going to go uh, gold, but I did not think that he was going to go anything bigger than like a 78, maybe a 79 at most. So Otani remains at a silver. Sean Manaya went up to a silver. Castillo went down three. Blake Snell went up to a 74. Um, other than that, those look like the pretty big ones right there. Nobody else is really notable in this. So yeah, those are the starting pitchers. All right, relief pitchers, Josh Hader went up to a gold. He has now 101 per nines or 101 Ks per nine with 99 hits per nine. So that was a very, very good upgrade for Josh Hader. Good uh, 77 Velo with 64 breaks. So he's now a gold. Adam Ottavino went all the way up to a 78 overall silver. Uh, Blake Parker went down three. Greg Holland stayed the same. And most of these guys look like they're going to stay the same. Or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Jeffress went up to a, to a bronze. Bartolo Colon went down to a common. No, big sexy. Um, plus 14 to Shane Carl. Holy smokes. So, yeah, all these guys are comments. Nobody really cares about these. All right, so closing pitchers. Kenley Jansen went down to a 90. So his Ks per nine went down five, and his hits per nine went down seven. He's not really pitching too well so far this year, so he got a little bit of a downgrade there. He's still going to be a diamond, so he's still going to be good, but not as good as he was Edwin Diaz I did predict him to go gold and look at him he's going gold just like I thought 106 uh, K's per nine with 89 hits per nine so really good upgrade for Edwin Diaz Ken Giles went down one but he's still a gold Familia went up to a 78 Hunter Strickland went up to a silver um, and the rest of these guys aren't really going to be notable so all right catchers literally none of the catchers changed every catcher remains the same so we're not looking at many major upgrades there first base Ryan Zimmerman went down to a silver he's lost his numbers against righties minus nine on the contact and minus seven on the uh, contact power versus righties so not a good upgrade for Ryan Zimmerman that's for sure 
Brandon Belt did get up a little bit. He went to a 77, plus 4 and plus 6 to his numbers against righties, minus 3 to his vision, but he got a lot of boosts on his fielding, so his fielding got a pretty big pretty big upgrade. Jose Martinez, I did predict this guy to go silver, and look at this, he did go silver. Plus 5 and plus 2 to his contact, plus 5 to his power against righties, plus 5 to his vision. Knew this guy was going to go up, he was having a really good year. Valbuena went up to a 72, not bad, not bad. I don't know, he didn't have any actual upgrades. Maybe it's the, yeah, he, they changed his primary position, so that's why he went up. Chris Davis went down to a 68, and he's losing a little bit of his numbers all around on hitting, except for his power against lefties. Tyler Austin went up to a bronze, and Lomo went down to a 67 okay so now let's go to second base Javier Baez went up to a gold plus six and plus ten to his numbers against righties it's literally exactly what I thought was gonna happen he was hitting the ball really good against righties in the second half of the uh, last season and the beginning of this season so his righty numbers had to go up and it gave him enough to go to a uh, to a uh, gold Cesar Hernandez stayed. Jed Lowry, another guy I predicted, he went up to a silver 77 overall, plus 12, plus 13 to his numbers against righties, minus 2 to his vision though. Uh, Albies went up to a silver, I didn't think he was going to go to a silver yet, but hey, there you go. Plus 19 to his contact versus lefties, plus 14 to his power versus lefties. As Dribble went up to a silver, there you go, Nick. Moncada went up to a silver, Tim Beckham stayed. Um, anybody else in here? Ryan Schimpf, wow, they nerfed Schimpf! They nerfed Schimpf. Minus 11 to his power, minus 15 to his power. They nerfed Ryan Schimpf. Oh my god, guys. Well, let's see if he's still as powerful, because right now he was like the best card in the game. So we'll see if he's still as good. I did not expect that, to be honest. All right, Zach Kozart went down to a silver. He wasn't hitting too well for the Angels in the past few weeks, so that makes sense. Matt Chapman got a pretty big boost, all the way up to a 78 overall silver. Pretty much hitting went up all around, and his reaction went up. Uh, Solarte stayed, but he changed his position. Matt Duffy went up two. Danny Valencia went down one. Villanueva went up to a bronze. Good, good upgrade for him. Damn, look at all those plus numbers. Really good. Uh, Andahar went up to a bronze. Daniel Descalso went up to a 70. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for third baseman, at least for the notable ones. After the after we look through all this, I'm gonna go to Otani and I'm gonna look at his, his uh, hitting stats. All right, Machado, he got a two overall upgrade. Machado's already like 100K on the market, so he got up to an 88. And look at his numbers, man. 77, 82, 82, 71 with 77 vision. Great fielding. This is one of the best shortstops in the game right now. Manny Machado is a great shortstop to put on your team. So if you can pull him out of a pack, he might be the guy right now for shortstop. Better than Hanley, honestly, I would say. I would use this guy over the, the 88 Hanley, so that's good. Correa got a one overall upgrade, so he's now at an 86, plus 3, plus 10 to his contact, uh, plus 6 to his power, so good upgrade for Correa. Didi Gregorius, I did not think he was going to go diamond. I did not think he had enough to get all the way to a 4 overall boost. He got a 3 boost, so he went up to an 84, plus 10 to his contact versus righties, plus 10 to his power versus righties, plus 12 to his power versus lefties, plus 3 to his vision, plus 10 to his discipline. He's killing the ball right now. He's having an amazing year. So yes, Didi deserved an upgrade. We'll see if he has another pretty solid couple weeks. He might go diamond. Trevor Story went up, Dansby Swanson went up, and Brock Holt got changed to a shortstop. All right, left field, Marcelo Zuna went down too, so he is still at a gold, but he's now on the edge. He's at an 80. He had a great year last year, so that's interesting. Reese Hoskins got a one overall upgrade. I didn't think he had enough to go gold, so it's nice to see that my prediction for this one was correct. Plus 7, plus 14 to his contact, plus 2 to his power versus lefties, plus 5 to his discipline. Brett Garner went down one. Marwin Gonzalez went down one. Um, Schwarber got a little bit better power against righties, plus 2 there, plus 6 to his contact, so he's now at a 71. Matt Adams is now at a 70. Uh, Teoscar Hernandez got changed to a left fielder. Uh, anything else in here? Nope. All right, center field. Cespedes went from an 84 to 81. Some people really thought that Cespedes was going to go diamond. I'm like, bro, did you look at his stats? He's not hitting the ball well. He's not going to go diamond. So, you know, uh, 84 to 81 makes sense to me. Minus 4, minus 5 to his contact, minus 3 to his power against lefties. AJ Pollock from the D-backs. He got a gold increase, 79 overall to an 81, plus 7 contact versus righties, minus 2 to his contact versus lefties, plus 4 plus 8 to his power, minus 6 division. So he was kind of like up and down, but enough to where it weighed him in the uh, favor of him going gold. So good for him. 
Chris Taylor went down to a silver, 80 to a 78, so he's got to pick it up. He's, he's losing some hitting numbers. Got a little bit of a boost of power over his lefties, but that's pretty much it. Max Kepler went down, um, and Frenchy Cordero, he, I think he has the longest home run in the league right now. All right, last but not least, we have right field Mookie Betts. He did go up one overall, so he is now at an 88. He's having an amazing season, man. Mookie Betts is killing the ball, doing great for the Red Sox in the top of their order. Plus one to his contact versus righties, plus three to his power versus righties, plus one to his power versus lefties. Uh, yeah, I, I thought that Mookie might go up. I just didn't cover it in my video because I wanted to cover the changes. Um... Mitch Hanniger, a plus two overall upgrade. He is deserving of it. He's hitting the piss out of the ball right now. Plus five, plus four to his contact, plus four, plus four to his power, plus two to his vision, plus five to his discipline. So he's now at a 78, a mid silver. So hopefully if he continues to go, he'll have a gold carb later this year. Um, what do we got? Cameron Maben went down to a bronze. Makes sense there. And as far as that, that is pretty much it. So there you go, guys. That Those are the big roster update moves. Really quickly, I want to go check out Shohei Otani and his uh, hitting stats if they changed anything there. So it doesn't look like they really changed anything, at least that I can see. I don't remember Otani's hitting numbers exactly, but it looks like they really didn't do much to his hitting. Um, if it does look any different to you guys, let me know. The speed is at a 69. You guys can't see it because of my face cam, but the speed is at a 69. I don't know if that got upgraded. I didn't know if there was a way to check that in the actual update. Oh, also, Glaber Torres is now in the game. Uh, all these new players are in here right now. I don't think Acuna is going to be in yet because he like just got called up so hopefully soon he'll be there but yeah so there you guys go that's pretty much all you need to know for the roster update this was a pretty good one got some new diamond cards um, I am really surprised that Osuna didn't get any love I thought Osuna is definitely deserving of a diamond upgrade but I didn't see him at all right there let me just double check the market really quick and see if um, Osuna did get anything just to be sure Blue Jays. Yeah, Osuna's still at an 84 I, I'm honestly shocked that he didn't go to a diamond. I think that he's very deserving of it But hey, well, you know what get what you can get we did get a new diamond today with Justin Verlander So let me know what you guys thought do you agree with the roster update? Do you disagree? Do you think that somebody should have went up or somebody should have went down? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. There was also some more uh, Content that dropped today. I will have videos out for that stuff as well So stick around to the channel all day guys more stuff coming out throughout the, the afternoon throughout the evening so hopefully you see you guys there drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace